and I thought it would be fun just to do my makeup and do a little chit chat time with you dolls um, and answer a few questions. So I'm getting ready right now. What time is it? Where's my phone? Oh. My phone definitely fell. And so I'm just finishing up on my makeup. I'm just super excited because I'm going to be seeing my best friend get married, my childhood best friend. So I'm literally just so excited. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it right now, so I'm kidding. Um, it's not my childhood best friend, it's my friend's childhood best friend, and so she had a plus one, and her husband isn't able to go with her, so she asked me if I wanted to go, and I was like, of course, why not? Weddings are so much fun, I get to put on a cute, pretty dress, and why not, right? Let me put on my makeup, and we'll finish off my makeup. Anywho, let's do our makeup. So I'm also going to be answering questions, because I did get a good question. Okay, I have 20 minutes left now. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> okay, where's the little question thing? Talking just about last year, let me see, where was it? I don't know, okay, but it was just talking about like catching up on last year and everything like that. Oh, my curls are, my curls are falling already. Okay, um, doing my Gucci bronzer, of course, the tried and true and favorite. I put on a lot more powder than usual today because, you know, I'm at a wedding and so I do want to look cute in the pictures and all. It's not cute outside today and I just don't understand what is it with the weather and not wanting to be pretty on wedding days. I was thinking about it once I was putting on makeup. I was like, oh, it would have been nice if I did my eyeshadow or something, but I did not plan out enough time for that. So I'm wearing my... Dior Forever Glow Foundation, Skin Glow, then I have on my Juvia's Place Concealer, my Dior Concealer and Juvia's Place Concealer, the Dior Backstage Concealer, Gucci Bronzer, I do need to put on some face powder, where's the brush, okay, I'm just going to use this for now first here, just to lock in the rest of my makeup, even though I already put on setting powder, you know. Okay, <laughs> let me get my life together. <laughs> so I'm wearing like this pretty satiny dress. But anywho, so earlier today, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> earlier today, I worked out. And I think because I was working out, you know, and then you have to take a shower and do this and that. I feel like that kind of messed up my schedule just a wee bit. Because, of course, I always take longer in the shower than what I predict. Um this year so and I've been really happy so I weighed in today and turns out I am two pounds away from getting to my goal weight and I'm so happy about that because it has been such a journey to like get back to the size that I want to be at and it's not necessarily my same size when I graduated from high school you know because I love like my curves and everything. Like I always had curves, but like, you know, obviously, like I have bigger curves now. I feel like my cup size just like grew. Um, <laughs> and my hips definitely too, but I'm like, waist needs to be a bit, you know. But anywho, so yes, so I've been working out and eating, trying to eat healthier and being more mindful about what I am eating. I'm gonna put on the Rare Beauty Cheek Blush and Joy. And this will go so prettily with my dress, which is a beautiful coral color. I need to put on my eyeliner too next because my eyeliner, I wanted to purchase like a new eyeliner, but oh, I didn't get a chance to. I wanted to purchase a few things that I didn't get a chance to purchase. Um, I was supposed to go to the store yesterday and I just didn't do, I just didn't do it because I was filming yesterday. But my friend just called me and she was like, I'm at the store. She's trying to pick up some lashes and all. And so she recently got married. And 
so happy for her. And she looks so beautiful, just like literally just so, so beautiful. All right, dolls, so my blush is on. I do feel like sometimes it takes longer for cream blush to blend out. Okay, but my recap on last year, dolls, I felt like it was a very good year for me. It was very good because I started doing new things. I definitely have had a lot of like self-growth. And it was a, such a great year for me last year to just reflect on myself and learn how to be forgiving and learning how to care for myself in a new way that I didn't realize before. And so that was just like super eye opening for me and really just taking me seriously when it comes to like my personal health and my happiness and things like that, you know, because I feel like it can just be like such a self-confidence thing. If, if you don't know what I mean, I'm pretty sure like all women do, but unless you're just one of those women that we don't like, um, <laughs> who like do not gain weight no matter what. But yeah, so I don't know, just really taking care of myself and I establish a lot more healthy habits and going out and learning how to be more confident and doing new things. I just definitely spent like a lot of time like making new friends and hanging out with a lot of, of my old friends more often. And if you don't seen, I did a bit of event planning last year too. I shared one of them in my holiday homemaking vlog. And I was just so happy about the event and how everything turned out. And um, it was just so much fun to do. So I gotta get that wing right, you know what I mean? Because if the wing, I will literally erase my whole entire face if the wing is not right, you know? So you have to do that. Yeah, and so I've just also been discovering a lot more on boundaries and boundaries within friendships and relationships and different things like that, which is always hard for me. Well, I wouldn't say, like I've always had really like high standards, I would say, and people would always, oh my gosh, you have such high standards, and you know, like everybody just has such high standards, at least she knows what she wants, right? But it's like once you meet someone who, who meets those high standards, you still have to keep up boundaries, you know? And that's with multiple relationships. And even with like some of my best friends, I've had to learn how to do that in some ways. Not that it's something that's negative, but every relationship has certain expectations on what they think is fine and what they think is not fine. Even though I may have a close, even though someone may have a close relationship with me and we are good with each other, um, I'm so done. Like I wrapped my hair so my, you know, edges will not pop, pop up. I literally took off the scarf and oh, it's been like literally 10 minutes. Like I'm so done with that. So done with that. Oh gosh, I didn't do too much. But you know, I'm gonna have to travel with this little control thing, which I usually, <gasps> why is it? I'm dramatic slightly when it comes to certain situations, okay? Others, not so much. I don't know why I didn't just use this one in the first place. Like, why did I use the other one? And then it's like, it's just now like, I mixed the two and it just had like a very sharp white cast. And I'm like, sweetheart darling, I cannot have that. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm getting hot now. I'm getting hot now. Okay, I need to like, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting hot. One moment, AC. Just so you know, you will hear squeals from me if you're over my house, right? And I'm in a rush and I can't find something. It just naturally comes out. I promise, like, at certain points, like, my man just, like, you know, ignores it. And I'm like, hello, did you not just hear me scream? Even though it was for, like, the fourth time, you know? <laughs> He's like, um... What is it? What happened? Are you okay? 
I'm like, no, I can't find this and I really, really need it. <laughs> or no, I just tried doing my hair and something just messed up. This is serious. You should be checking on me. Um, so yes, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, I was just getting a little hot just now. <sighs> I just had to throw on this robe because it's hard time when I've been getting ready. I've been wearing um, nothing. <laughs> Just my undergarments, you know, it's just like so much better getting ready that way. So this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna do something. That's my alarm. Okay, I need to finish up. But anyways, yes, dolls. So I learned that last year and sometimes it's really hard for me to create, to upkeep those boundaries, okay? Because I'm always like, okay, second chance, let's do this again, you know? And if something slips, that's fine, we're all human. But boundaries is just a form of protecting yourself, your feelings, and avoiding future conflict and disputes. So I have definitely learned that. And it's been hard for me because, you know, I'm such a, I'm such a, I feel like I have really good connections to people in my life and like I genuinely cherish all of my relationships with like you know my best friend or you know older friends and stuff like that and family members and stuff so sometimes it's like you have to do the boundaries because that's how you that's how you avoid you know getting hurt or um you know things going awry and having miscommunication and stuff so so it's not just about standards, and that's what I learned last year. So on to lighter conversations. <laughs> I know because that one's just a bit more serious. But yeah, I was able to like explore different things with the event planning. That was just so much fun. And I'm actually in the midst of planning an event that's coming up later on this month. So I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know if I'm aware of this color. I had a really pretty lip combo in my previous video that I filmed yesterday. I forgot what it is. Oh, I did wear lip gloss though. These are Pat McGrath Negligé. And then we have Charlotte Tilbury. This was the Bond. So what's this? Am I, am I kiss? Like Mission Impossible kiss. Let's put on highlighter, do a bit more of bronzer. Bronzer, darling, bronzer. Um, and then get ready to go. This year, my goals with just taking care of myself is again, just trying to be more intentional because life just gets so busy and procrastination and putting things off and putting things ahead of self-care can just happen and it could just prolong things that you need to do. And I feel like I was really able to like chime in to that last year after realizing I need to keep up with my self-care and things of that nature and really not just like keeping up with it, but actually investing more into that. And not only with like beauty treatments, but also with vitamins and things of that nature. I shared that with you dolls in a couple of my morning routines. I'm a lot more mindful of things that I'm doing. I don't know, I guess as I get older, I get wiser. Um, <laughs> okay, this is cute. I feel like it's not bam bam as I want it to be, but this is cute for what it is. I just need to make sure that I bring my powder and everything like that with me. What do you guys think? My schedule being so much busier, some of these things, whenever you're so much busier, they can just feel like such tasks. And so I've been having, especially when it comes like working out at home and important things, right? It can just feel like such a big task and all. And, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I thought I was forgetting something. A little like nose contour. Yeah, I could just feel like it's such a task and I don't I don't like feeling that way because you know even though my life is busy, I'm always happier when my home is clean and spick and spam, if you don't know what I mean. And so I've just had to really be able to pivot and adjust to my needs and how I can make my schedule work best for me. When, you know, last time I had other things going on and I was learning to become a homemaker, you know, I was in school. And so it was so different to 
you know, and I felt like so everywhere when it came to that, trying to have enough energy to do that and take on another responsibility, you know, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah, so I've learned how to do that, or I'm still learning how to do that and not look at things as like a burden, even though I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could just skip this right now. But instead look at things as like, instead being like, I am taking care of something that God provided me with. And I love it when things look this way. And in order to achieve this, I need to do this. I need to get going and leave. I'm going to get dressed up. I'll share my outfit with you dolls and I, I'm not sure which purse I want to bring with me. Oh my gosh. So I have a purse, but I have not revealed it yet. I think I'm going to bring that one. We shall see dolls. All right. What do you dolls think? And see, eyeliner, powder, lipstick, and lip liner and lip gloss. <laughs> That's typically what I like to bring out with me when I know I'm going to be taking pictures and going out. Cute. <laughs> outfit I wore my medium white lady Dior and I have my trois de Gris twilly on top of it I had to retry I had to retie it like two one two two times and now at the end of the night like it's unraveling I don't know like typically once I tie it once it's fine but I just noticed that it kept on unraveling I'm honestly <laughs> I'm tired but I didn't get a chance to share with you dolls what I was wearing. I'm wearing kind of like this corally salmon, like a burnt coral salmon dress. It's a wrap dress. Here's how it looks. And I just like wore a little tank right here underneath it or like a little bando. Um, I was looking for a pin and I could not find one. So I was like, oh shoot, I just have to wear this bando. And I wear this. And then I wear these little shoes, Vince Camuto. This is a pretty much very feminine, girly outfit. This asymmetrical toe is super cute. It's a little big on me, but you know, since it's like this, it was fine. The wedding was beautiful. It was just like an intimate wedding. And there's a time to it after the ceremony. The bride and groom take pictures and so you know seen like me and my friend were trying to take cute pics and then we had no idea like they were walking in so that was pretty cute and we took like really cute polaroid pictures let me share with you dolls um and i'm like a good photographer i feel like i take better pictures than my friend don't tell her i said that but um this is the picture she took of me can you see it such mom vibes, dolls. Look at this mom. <laughs> Don't I look like a mom? It's the little bandeau. That's funny. <laughs> but this is a cute little Polaroid picture that we took. Okay, so here's a cute little dancing video that we did. I won't play the song. Okay, stop, pause for a second, Dottie. Thank you. Okay. Look at the slow-mo kiss, because a slow-mo kiss needed to happen. So I originally told her, I was like, I was like, we should do Charlie's Angels. And so we like waited in line. And once we got up there, I was like, 
oh my gosh, I was like, should we do like, um, are we smiling and dancing? And she was like, yeah. So I didn't know that we were still gonna do the Charlie's Angels. So she's just there. <laughs> she's just there holding up a gun. <laughs> not funny because it's just like okay like why were you posing like this so i didn't want to do the charlie's angel thing and then look silly doing this because she wasn't gonna do it mind you we're literally back to back <laughs> okay we are back to back right so i could have been like let's do charlie's angels and she would have been like okay yeah we already said that we were gonna do it and so we both would have been like this cute but I dropped the ball. It's not funny, but I find it funny. It's like the, it's the friend of me vibes. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho, so I am going to lay down. Because I'm tired. But I don't know, dolls. I'm thinking about... <laughs> I was gonna say I want to sit down, but I don't want to move the camera and stuff. So I'm thinking about getting another Lady Dior because I love this one and I love this color combo, but I want one that's white and smaller and with gold hardware. But the thing is that I don't wanna have duplicates. This one has such a nice capacity and you can fit everything that you want in here. And I love that. But I do want the Chanel Kelly. The Chanel Kelly is so freaking cute and I would love that white with gold hardware you know and i'm like ooh, if i were to get a smaller white bag why wouldn't it just be a chanel kelly but it really doesn't fit that much it's a mini party shopping bag that's what they call it um i want a small like i want them to make that same bag but in a small they have a mini and a nano and i'm like why even <sighs> in hindsight i brought these things with me but I didn't need all, like the only thing that I really needed was another lipstick. So I had my phone and my camera. Then I just have my giant makeup bag. And I also have this little pouch here. The venue had valet, so the valet had my keys. And then my yummy, yummy Bose ear pods. Um, you know, so it's an event. I'm not going to put ear pods in my ears, you know, at a wedding. Like, that doesn't make sense, you know? Or I just didn't need a, a bag this size with all of these things in it. So that's why I'm like, okay, maybe I should just get a small Lady Dior or a small white Mini Kelly. Let me know what, what you dolls think. I think that a Mini Kelly could fit my phone, my camera, my keys, a lipstick, and a powder which is like you know like i said that's pretty much all that i needed but anywho dolls thanks for tuning in i know i'm a little bit of everywhere right now like i said i'm tired and i hope i'm not like making a fool out of myself right now but thanks for getting ready with me and coming to this event with me let me know if you dolls want more videos like this i will have my outfit and everything else linked down below bye dolls Okay, I need to lay down and relax.